Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In the last video we saw how to create an AMI out of an existing EC2 instance and then how do we spin up new EC2 instances using that AMI. So in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, remove the AMI that you have uh, created. So this would typically be when you are creating a new AMI and you want to delete uh, older AMIs that you have in your account, right? So first and foremost, uh, if you have seen my last video, let's just go ahead and terminate our uh, old EC2 instance that we had used to create uh, the image out of. So click on action, uh, go to instance state and terminate. So once this gets terminated, uh, its corresponding volumes should also get deleted. So if you go to volumes, you can see there are uh, four volumes and this two volumes sh should get deleted uh, once uh, that EC2 is terminated. So now uh, let's go to our snapshot and uh, we saw in the last video that uh, AWS creates snapshots uh, belonging to each volume uh, and it creates an AMI out of this. So let's go ahead and try to delete this snapshot. So go to action, select delete and click on yes delete. And you can see it says error deleting snapshots. And this is because uh, the snapshots are uh, used by the AMI. So if you delete uh, this snapshots, then there could be issue. So what you need to do is go to AMI first, uh, select that AMI that you have created go to actions and deregister. De this is this is the first thing that you need to do. So click on continue. So once uh, you have selected deregister, uh, it would take some time to reflect, but essentially we are deregistering this AMI. So you can refresh this and uh, in some time this entry should be gone from here, right? So once it is uh, deregistered, uh, you have uh, clicked on deregister action, then you can go to snapshot and select both of these and uh, click on delete and now it should not uh, give you any error right so it deleted those snapshots as well but if you try to delete those snapshots before you deregister the AMI then AWS will throw you an error right so now once that is done uh, let's go back to volumes and you can see the two volumes are gone uh, this is because if you go to the EC2 dashboard you can see that this is terminated and both the volumes were set to uh, delete on termination and when we terminated this EC2 instance, uh, those volumes got deleted as well, right? So the last thing that we need to do uh, before we clean all of this up is to stop this EC2 instance as well. And once we terminate this EC2 instance, this should essentially uh, go ahead and uh, delete this snapshot as well because uh, in the AMI that we created uh, we also set the had the same setting which basically mentioned delete on termination so let's go ahead and try that to clean it up so select this actions instant state terminate click yes terminate and this is shutting down uh, and you can see in some time that uh, these two volumes would be deleted as well. So to summarize uh, what we did, uh, first thing that we did is uh, we, we went to this AMI, we clicked on action and we clicked on deregister. And the second thing that we did is after deregistering, we went to snapshots. There were two snapshots corresponding to two EBS volumes corresponding to the AMI that we created. So we, we selected both of these uh, snapshots and we deleted them. Uh, then we went to EC2 dashboard, uh, we went to the EC2 instance and then we terminated each EC2 instance that we had created. Uh, the one uh, we had uh, used to create an AMI and one EC2 instance that we had created or launched from that particular AMI. And finally, uh, we need to check that this volumes uh, need to be deleted as well uh, after the EC2 instances are terminated. So if you have selected uh, delete on termination, then this uh, volumes will get deleted automatically. But if not, then you have to manually go ahead and select them and uh, delete them. But since I have already done that, they should automatically get deleted uh, once your EC2 instances terminated. So this is terminated now. Let's go back to volumes and you can see the two volumes are deleted as well. So let's go ahead uh, AMI and there we go. So it took some time to refresh, but now our AMI is deregistered and that is no longer available, right? So all of this is cleaned up. So this is how you successfully uh, delete the AMI that you had created. 
and then you are all set to go. So thank you and let me know if you have any questions in the comments.